Hey there, uh, today I'm going to talk about Camera Boost. It's uh, another replacement camera app. There's a number of these out there now and this one's pretty new. Uh, when you start the app you basically can do camera or video and in this case I'm doing the camera. On the lock you can lock the focus, exposure, white balance. Uh, I'm doing this inside with a compute picture on my computer so uh, you can't really see much on the focus or anything like that. Uh, on the left side you have a lot of effects you can click on. Uh, you can see I can select, uh, in this case, gray and look for a specific color and adjust the color spread. There's quite a few effects. You get a live preview of everything you're looking at. And then you can just swipe back to the left to get rid of that and see your things and then swipe all the way back to the left again. There's also a lot of presets, uh, which consists of a lot of the effects. So if I go in and make a number of adjustments here to things like the hue and the noise and the exposure, uh, things like that, then I can combine them all into one preset at any time. So I just played with a few others here to uh, show you some of the live effects. And with your presets, once you have some you really like, you can also, I'll jump through a few of these, but you can also swipe them to the right and you'll have an option to delete the pre uh, preset if you want to. And you can see you get the live effects on these also. The horror preset. And there I just decided I didn't like those, so I deleted them really quickly. I didn't show you everything. Here's uh, the zoom has a traditional uh, slide in and slide out sort of lever to do the zoom. I also didn't show the night camera effect which is down there in the lower right corner. I did some testing with that and I was really impressed with it. And then when you take a photo it saves in the camera roll uh, and there you can share them or end up deleting them. And I hope that gave you a quick walkthrough of the app. Feel free to drop by my blog at iosphotoapps.com whenever you get a chance.